Hello everyone. In this lesson, we're going to try to trap our opponent's pieces, and we're going to use different techniques to do that. So in this first one, we're going to try to attract our opponent's queen to closer to our side of the chessboard and then trap it. So here we're pushing our pawn, we're forking the knight and the bishop. So the bishop is probably going to capture our pawn, and we can just capture the bishop with winning material here. And so if the queen captures back our rook, we can now trap the queen by playing bishop to f4. In the next example, it's clear that the white queen's moves are limited. There, There's absolutely no square this queen can move to. We can try to trap the queen by attacking it with our knight. We can move the knight to a4, but then we're blocking our own rook and the queen can just capture the a5 pawn. So we can also move our knight to d4, but then it will be traded by the white knight. So what we can do is first we can get rid of the defender, get rid of the f3 knight, and then move the knight to d4, and now we have trapped the white queen. Let's see. In the next example, we want to again trap the white queen. It's clear that if we attack the white queen, there is only the c2 square that the queen can move to. So what we need to do is we need to unblock this diagonal by taking away the d3 bishop from here. So we can just capture the c4 pawn with our knight. Here, uh, okay, if white doesn't capture, we just want a pawn. We're attacking the queen. We have a good position. And if white captures, then we will be able to trap the white queen by moving our bishop to b4. In the next example, here we have the black pieces. If, again, we take a look, it's clear that the white queen uh, has limited squares to, to move to. Here there is only b4 and there is also the capture on e5. So moving our rook to b8 is going to take care of the b4 square, but then the queen can still capture on e5. So what we can do is we can use interfering here. We can push our pawn. So and then here we are attacking the white bishop. If the queen tries to escape, we are winning the bishop. While if white captures, now we interfered between the rook and the queen. So now the queen cannot move to e5 anymore. And we can simply trap it by moving our e rook to uh, b8. And we can win the queen on our next move. Let's see. In the next example, here again, we have the black pieces. It's again clear that the white queen has no safe moves to do. And that's going to be our target. We can simply push our pawn and attack the queen, but then we are blocking the rank, that the, that's the fifth rank that our rook is controlling. So the queen can move to h5. So if we just push the pawn, the queen can move to h5 now and escape. So let's go back. What we can do first is we can block the, the h5 square with one of the white pieces. So we can sacrifice our rook on h5. The queen doesn't have any moves to do, so capture is a must here. And now we can push our pawn. Now that h5 square is occupied, blocked by one of the white pieces, we can trap the queen. Let's see one more example. In this example, we're going to chase one of the black pieces and then uh, capture them. So it's going to be the black rook, which again has limited moves to do. We're going to start attacking it by moving our knight to d6. The only safe square the rook has is to f8. And now we can win that rook if we just attack it one more time with our bishop. Uh, we will be giving up a bishop and uh, gaining a rook, winning material.